Boeing 747-8, the largest airliner the company has yet built, is making its Paris Air Show debut. The newest Boeing four-engine aircraft is the fastest airliner in the sky. The newest version of the aircraft can carry 51 more passengers or 23 tons more freight than the previous version and do it by burning the same amount of fuel. Today, Captain Steve Taylor and lead test pilot Mark Feuerstein, two of the pilots who flew the 747-8 from Seattle to Paris, are going to walk us around it and tell us what makes it so fuel efficient and technologically advanced. Can you tell me about the wing aerodynamics compared to the other airplane? Well, it's a super critical wing, yeah. and you can see by looking at the trailing edge of the wing how the wing is different compared to 400. There's some extra curvature there that didn't used to exist. You didn't have that trailing edge cusp that no, you did in the last that's airplane. that's correct. It's a super critical airfoil, not unlike what we have on the 787. Mm -hmm. What kinds of uh, aerodynamic improvements did you add to the 787 compared to the legacy aircraft like the 777 and yeah. the 76? On the 747-8, right. Well, there's the high lift on both the leading edge and the trailing edge is completely different than it was on the 747-400. We've simplified it mechanically, yet improved the aerodynamic performance. And then in the cruise department, of course, we have this supercritical airfoil that reduces the drag on the airplane and contributes to the approximate 16% in improved efficiency. Uh Steve, you have brand new engines on the aircraft too, don't you? We do, and that also is part of the efficiency, but one of the things he had skipped on the wing, we kept the same sweep and we That's kept right. the highest cruise Mach number of anything in the air. So this airplane is still a Mach 855 airplane, fastest thing flying. So, so let's go walk towards the back of the engine. Sure. And we'll talk a little bit about noise. So the engine is a GE Gen X engine. They're derived from the engine that we delivered or developed rather for the 787. Uh -huh. So we get a lot of the efficiency gains. This one does have bleed air that the 787 doesn't. But one of the features that uh, we did bring over are these scallops that help us control both community noise and cabin noise. Uh, that's interesting. I noticed that uh, several new engines have the scallops on the fan duct. What is the purpose of the scallop in terms of noise reduction? Well, the biggest thing is it takes out the buzz saw. That sort of growling noise that you get on board the airplane. These are designed to help dissipate that particular buzzing noise. How much quieter are the engines, the GENX engines on this airplane, compared to the engines on the Dash 400, your last airplane? Let me talk to that, Fred. It's not just the engines. It's the entire engine airframe combination. And on this airplane, we're about 30% quieter than a 747-400. That's a big number. Well, it sounds to me like this is going to be a much better airport neighbor than the previous airplane was. Absolutely. Not only is it a better neighbor, but it'll fit in all of the same airports that the 747-400 fits in. Uh, you told me before that the airplane has a wider wingspan than the 400. How much wider is the wingspan? If the wingspan went up from about 213 feet to about 225 feet, it's really quite a small change if you think about it. And is that the key to allowing it to use the existing airport facilities, the fact that the wingspan is essentially the same? The wingspan is essentially the same. As you know, it's about six meters longer than the 400, but the wheelbase is only about 12 feet or three meters longer. So the changes are really incremental compared to the 400. And underneath the wing to body joint, behind us, you can see kind of a ledge area here and where there's a little bit of a, a rectangle shape and then also on the forward leading edge the way that the uh, area forward, the glove area forward is, is a little bit different than the 400. With a 975,000 pound maximum takeoff weight, what did you have to do to the undercarriage and the brakes? Yeah. The, the rolling stock on the airplane, the undercarriage, has been increased. The wheels are about two inches larger diameter than they are on a 400. The brakes are new, carbon brakes, they're, it's a new buildup of the brake. The wheels are a little bit bigger. All of it incrementally changed to step up really from the 747-400 ERF, the 910K airplane, which of course was 910,000 pounds. So it's really kind of a small change in weight. What we've really done, I think where the efficiencies come in, are how we've improved the structure from a structural efficiency standpoint. So while the weight change is modest, the efficiency gain is quite large.